now let us discuss about four bit asynchronous or ripple up counter so it is a four bit counter so we will have four flip flops here uh, one two three four we have four flip flops in order to implement asynchronous counter we need toggle flip flop it may be either jk flip flop or t flip flop here we are using the jk flip flop uh, here uh, uh, the values of j and k are one we know that when j and k are one then it will produces toggle toggle means it simply complements the output so that's why j and k of every flip flop are connected to one and this is nothing but clock pulse we know about asynchronous counter asynchronous counter means an external clock pulse will be applied to the first flip flop so this is the clock pulse uh, here uh, before the clock pulse here we have a circle so this is nothing but a bubble it represents it is a negative edge or falling edge okay so the triggering will happen the flip flop will work yet the negative or falling edge so this is nothing but output of the first flip flop q not uh, in asynchronous uh, counter output of one flip flop is connected as clock pulse to the next flip flop so output of the first flip flop is q not so q not is connected as clock pulse to the second flip flop next to q1 is connected as the clock pulse q2 is connected as the clock pulse and this this q3 is nothing but uh, most significant bit whereas uh, this q0 is nothing but uh, least significant bit so this can also be called as ripple counter why because output of one flip flop will be connected as uh, will be connected as clock pulse to the next flip flop so that's why we can call this as ripple counter this is up counter why because here what is the size here 4 bits 4 bits means totally we will get 2 power 4 that is nothing but 16 states so first state is 0 next to 1 next to 2 3 up to 2 power 6 2 power 4 means 16 so 16 means so from 0 to from 0 to 1 1 2 2 2 2 3 so likewise what is the maximum number 15 so from 15 we will go to 0 so that's why this can also be called as mod 16 asynchronous ripple up counter why because maximum we will get 16 states from 0 to 15 now let's see the waveforms so totally here we will have uh, 15 clock pulses so first clock pulse second clock pulse third four five so likewise totally we have uh, 15 clock pulses for space constraints i am showing only the uh, 13 clock pulses uh, next this is nothing but uh, uh, falling edge or negative edge uh, moving from 1 to 0 this is nothing but uh, first clock pulse uh, falling edge or negative edge and it will shows second clock pulse this is falling edge or uh, negative edge here the flip flop will work at negative edge or uh, the falling edge uh, let's see about uh, first one here totally uh, here we are extending the waveforms in order to show these three outputs uh, first one is q naught so next one q1 next we will have q2 and the last one is uh, q3 uh, initially initially here uh, uh, q naught value is 0 uh, let us uh, see the truth table here let us see the truth table so for space constraints uh, uh, i am erasing this portion uh, let's see the truth table here so q3 q2 q1 q naught this q3 is nothing but most significant bit q0 is nothing but least significant bit initially the values of q3 q2 q1 q0 are zeros so initially the values are zeros so q0 is 0 q1 is 0 q2 is 0 q3 is 0 here 0 means low portion high means top portion next so when q0 will uh, uh, when we will get the output of the first flip flop output of the first flip flop is q naught we will get q naught during uh, negative uh, edge triggering of every clock pulse so this is nothing but uh, negative edge so during this the output will be toggled why because j and k are connected to one so when j and k are one 
as well as uh, uh, the clock pulse is applied then it will be toggled so previously the output is 0 now it will become 1 so it will be 1 till we get the negative edge so here we got the negative edge so now the output is 1 so now it will be converted to 0 so toggle means converting 1 to 0 0 to 1 so likewise here we have falling edge so likewise so ones will be converted to zeros zeros will be converted to ones okay so during every clock pulse so this is uh, one clock pulse next next so likewise in on every clock pulse the output will be toggled output will be toggled so likewise we will get the output next if you take this one here this is nothing but q1 output q1 depends upon q0 why because here we are passing q0 output that is the output of the first flip flop as clock pulse to the clock pulse to the first flip flop so on every falling edge of q0 we will get the q1 so here let us observe the falling edges of q0 so this is nothing but falling edge of q0 moving from 1 to 0 moving from 1 to 0 so likewise if you see here so this is nothing but falling edge likewise if you see here moving from 1 to 0 next 1 to 0 this is nothing but falling edge this is nothing but falling edge so now let us analyze the output here so here this is the falling edge so the output of q1 will be low so till we get the falling edge so whenever we will get the falling edge then what will happen this output will be toggled so now this output will be toggled how long till we get the next negative edge so here we have the next negative edge next the output will be toggled how long here we have the negative edge till we get the next negative edge next here we have the negative edge so the output will be toggled here we have the negative edge so output will be toggled here we have the negative edge so output will be toggled here we have negative edge so output will be toggled next let us focus on q2 here q2 depends on q1 so now we have to observe q1 waveform we have to find out the negative edges of the q1 if you see here if you see here yeah this is nothing but negative edge of q1 moving from 1 to 0 1 to 0 so likewise here also this is nothing but negative edge so moving from 1 to 0 so here also this is also negative edge moving from 1 to 0 so now uh, the output of q2 will be 0 until we get the negative edge so whenever we will get the negative edge then what will happen the clock pulse will be applied so the output will be toggled how long till we get the next negative edge so here we have the negative edge so whenever this edge is applied then the output will be toggled so likewise next let us focus on q3 so here q3 means it depends upon q2 so we have to observe q2 waveform now we have to observe q2 waveform now okay so this is the negative edge this is the negative edge so output of q3 will be zero until we get the negative edge now the output will be toggled if you observe here it is very very easy uh, to draw this diagram if we observe q0 here so zero high so low high low high low high low high in one clock pulse it is low in another clock pulse it is high so it is very very easy to draw this diagram so low high low high low high if we observe q1 if we observe q1 so during the first two clock pulses it is low next two clock pulses it is high next to two clock pulses low next to two clock pulses high next to two low next to two high next to two low likewise if we observe q2 here if we observe q2 here during the first four clock pulses this is nothing but fourth clock pulse okay during the first four clock pulses it is low next this is nothing but simply 2 power 0 2 power 1 2 power 2 2 power 3 so 2 power 0 is nothing but q naught 2 power 0 is nothing but 1 so q naught what is q naught low in one one clock pulse high in another clock pulse low in one clock pulse high in another clock pulse so next to 2 power 1 is nothing but q1 so what is q1 2 power 1 2 power 1 is nothing but 2 so two lows next to two highs two lows two highs next to q2 is nothing but 2 power 2 2 power 2 is nothing but 4 
So four lows, four highs, four lows. Likewise, next to Q3 is nothing but two power three. So eight lows, next to remaining highs. If we observe the uh, truth table after constructing the waveforms, uh, we have to design the truth table also. So in the initial, in the initial state, Q3, Q2, Q1, Q0 are zeros. That is nothing but decimal value zero. Next, in the first clock pulse, what is Q3 value? The first value is Q3, second value is Q2, Q2, next to Q1, next to Q0. If you observe here, this is nothing but first clock pulse. So during the first clock pulse, it is low, it is low, it is low. Whereas Q0 is high. So Q3, Q2, Q1 are zeros. Whereas Q0 is 1. So 3 bull 0, 1 is nothing but the decimal equivalent of 1. Next, during the second clock pulse, so this is second clock pulse. So Q3 is 0, Q2 is 0. What about Q1? Q1 is 1, Q1 is up, whereas Q0 is this low, 0. So 0, 0, 1, 0 is nothing but 2. Next, let us see uh, two more clock pulses. So this is the third clock pulse. So 0, 0. Next, this is up, up means 1. This is also up, up means 1. So 0, 0, 1, 1 is nothing but 3. So in the third clock pulse, we are getting 3. Decimal number 3. Next, during the fourth clock pulse, so 0. So this is up. Up means 1. So this is 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0 is nothing but 4. Likewise, in the fifth clock pulse, we will get 5. In the seventh clock pulse, we will get 7. In the 15th clock pulse, we will get 15. So likewise, we can easily write. So in the fifth clock pulse, we will get 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. That is nothing but decimal number 5. In the sixth clock pulse, double 1, 0, 0. That is nothing but 6. So this is about a 4-bit asynchronous ripple up counter. This, this can also be called as mod 16 counter. Mod 16 asynchronous ripple counter.